So many people are so scared of failing that they think, well, I'm not going to, I've written a book, but I'll never show it to anyone. I've got an idea, but what if it doesn't work? And when they begin to see, oh, it all tracks back to a thought which I'm free to change, it's very liberating, it's very empowering. Really, the only thing wrong with you is you don't think you're good enough. But it's very simple to think a different thought, because we own our thoughts. We have to remember something. The mind has no choice but to act on our thoughts. We have an incredible choice to think better thoughts. strongest force in all of us is we must act in a way that matches how we define ourselves. So your mind's job is to make your thoughts real. The job of your mind is to listen to your thoughts and to start to make them real. People say, I, I, I don't know what I was thinking of. How did I end up in this mess? Well, you were thinking. You were thinking, I'm not going to succeed. Everything's not going to work out. If, if I start that business, it will fail. If I write the essay, it will get a bad mark. So I'm just going to procrastinate here and do nothing. And then I can't fail. And when you take people back to that, you know, procrastination and self-sabotage is nothing more than a reaction to a thought that I'm not enough. My mind believes that everything I tell it must be true, whether it's good or bad helpful or very hurtful. So we've got to get into the excellent habit of saying, I can do this, I got this, this has got my name all over it. No one knew this very mean it could. I can still do it my way. Somebody like Eminem was a great reference for lost kids because nobody believed in him. Nobody believed he could be a rapper, but here he is and he put his anger into rapping and then they go, oh yeah. But that's the thing, you get to edit your story, upgrade your story, rewrite your story, change your story. Your thoughts are yours to change, you not your thoughts, change them. So your life can change like that if you just get into the excellent habit and keep going of dialoguing better with you. change like that. Can you change in 21 days? You can change in 21 seconds if you know how. In fact, you can change twice every day. First in the way you think and the second in the way you act. You know, your life can change immediately when you change your dialogue. And there are many people who've told you that, you know, I just stopped saying that. So we all get a choice. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I forgot. I got that wrong, but then even when you get something wrong, what did you learn? You know, a person who never made a mistake, never made anything, your mistakes teach you. So even when you make a mistake, well, I learned something. I learned I'll never do that again. You know, occasionally when I'm traveling, I'm like, okay, we've forgotten our charges, but let's always keep them in our travel bag. Let's always keep them there. When you make a mistake, it usually enhances you, enhances your education if you learn from it. And that's one of the rules of the mind, wherever you focus on, you get more of. And you can't be in two lanes, so pick a better lane, go into that better lane. Keep telling yourself better things, think better thoughts. And whatever is the missing bit, the emptiness, the needs you could have got met, take some time to think about what they are. And think about what you want to hear, and then tell yourself those words, I can do this, I've got this, I'm good at this, because amazingly, there is nothing that will raise your self-esteem like praise, but your own praise is better. So if you said to me, oh, you can speak on stage, you can do that, I go, yeah, but I, you're just saying that. If I say it, my mind believes that everything I tell it must be true, whether it's good or bad, helpful or very hurtful.
words you want to hear, what I call the missing bit. What have you been longing to hear? You don't give that away. You don't give that up. You start to say and listen out because it sinks in. Whoever's saying it, it sinks in. But when someone else says it, they might have an agenda. You're great, could you lend me some money? But when you say it, there is no agenda. Think of your unmet needs. The emptiness in you is what you didn't get as a kid. You didn't get love, you didn't get praise, you didn't get recognition, you didn't get celebrated. You didn't even get gifts, and that's horrible, but imagine if you could start to say those things. I matter, I'm significant, I'm lovable, I'm worthy, I'm enough. And then you'll start to fill up that emptiness. The not enoughness becomes enoughness. And actually, when you do it yourself, it's way more powerful anyway, because you have no agenda. It all starts with a thought. But changing your thoughts is easy, it's free, it can be instant. And so I really like to simplify what makes humans tick because what's the point of making it complicated? How does that help anyone who says, well, I'm messed up and so hard to change and people can't change. It's like, well, that's not correct. Who taught you that? You, from the minute you're born, you're changing. Oh, you know, it's, it's long and arduous to recover. No, it isn't. Some people recover like that. You could be one of the ones that changes your thoughts, changes your feelings, changes your actions after all. And if you could look in your body and see the inflammation, the stress hormones, the cortisol you create for thinking negative thoughts, you would never do it again. So we've got to remember our thoughts are not our thoughts, they're a blueprint that our mind, body and psyche are trying to make real. If you could only think better thoughts, you'd give your mind an easy job. Your, your lovability has got nothing to do with the numbers on the scales or the numbers in your clothing label or the numbers on your business or the number of your followers. So we get very consumed by the number.